Okay, welcome back guys. Um, I won't lie, I've recorded this before. It was a complete failure, so I'm trying to revert back the project. Uh, I think I've done well. Most of this stuff, I'm pretty sure I managed to revert back with the help of some Control Z. Uh, so we're back to where we were in the last episode as much as possible. Um, apart from that, let's do biomes. Again, for me at least. Um, this is not easy, but I think I've come in out with a pretty good method to do it after my last failure. And what we're going to do is, underneath our biome class, to get started, we're going to uh, we're gonna do this. So I don't think we need this anymore, but we'll keep it for now. Um, let's comment that out. Save some lines. Now, we need a public tile atlas, and this is going to be biome tiles. So obviously our biome atlas is here. What it is is a collection of all the bi uh, all the tiles in our world, essentially, or every possible tile. Now I'm going to create a new tile atlas, for example, and we'll call this grassland. Cool. So grassland has the tiles. So we have to assign grass, which is going to be the tile class of grass, that's fine. Dirt is going to be dirt, and then stone is going to be stone. Those are the only ones which are going to stay the same for throughout the whole tile class, right? Makes sense so far. Um, sorry, those are the ones who are going to change. The rest of these we're going to use this tile class for. So, well, this is basically this is the fallback tile class, and then this is going to overwrite what's here in the code. So, for example, if I duplicate this now and I call this snow, our grass tile is going to be snow, right? Um, dirt's going to stay the same, and stone's going to stay the same. But it means that the grass layer here is going to overwrite the grass layer here. A little bit confusing, but uh, you guys will understand, I'm sure. <laughs> Uh, we do have to create another one for uh, for forests. So forest is going to use the grass texture of grass. That that's all fine. The only thing that changes the forest is the generation method. Um, so good. And then desert is going to change as well. So we we'll say desert. Uh, this is going to use sand as the stone layer. It's also going to use sand as the. Uh, Dirt layer, and then it will use sand as the top layer as well. Nice. Uh, now we have those sorted. We should go into our terrain, and you'll see our biomes now asking for a tile atlas. Let's just drag that in. That's fine. Um, now, um, in our this thing, we're going to get rid of these random colors which we put because I just want to test the first one first. Uh, so if I do snow, biomap is going to be like that. That's fine. It's all snow. I'll change grasslands to the use the snow biomes textures as well. Um, and now, underneath our terrain generation, to determine which tiles to use, we have to go here. So here when we're getting our tile sprites, we just have to determine which tile sprites to reference. So as you can see here, we're saying equals tile atlas dot stone dot tile sprites. This tile atlas should depend on our biome win. So now we have to get which depending on which biome we're currently in. So the position we're at is X and Y. So let's say uh, vector two because uh, we'll, let's say color, color coal biome coal equals biome map dot get pixel x and y. So that's going to return the current color that we're at. Uh, now we have to turn that from that color. We have to be able to get the biome class. Biome class. Current biome equals. I think I have a solution. What we're going to do is have a public array. 
yes, we're going to have a color array. And this is going to be biome colors. And you know what? Uh, there should be colors, yes. This is going to return you guys an array because what I actually forgot to do was change this. So I actually renamed the biome gradient. Um, this used to be biome colors. I renamed this to biome gradient. You guys should do the same. Otherwise, this real name, uh, variable name is going to give you guys an error saying it's been used before, whatnot. So just thought I'd point that out. It just came to my mind now. Um, what we're going to do is say on validate, uh, biome colors, colors, Oh my god, colors equals new color array with a length of biomes dot length. So they have the same length, right? And then we're going to say uh, for int i equals zero, i less than biome colors dot length. We're going to say i plus plus. Uh, we're going to go back into our biome class and we're going to uncomment this line because we do need this now. Um, and we're going to say biome colors equal uh, biome colors i equals biomes i dot biome color. So they use the, share the same index now. Okay. Um, I should probably do the same thing in the start function, but I don't think it will matter too much because on validate it's going to occur anyway. Unless it gives us an array. Sprite array to biome color. Ah, yes. I started there, never ended it. Okay. Let's comment that out for now. Now, biome color is this equals this, right? That's fine. It's not updating. It wants to say nothing. It does this have okay no it doesn't have a color that's why okay let's make this white because this is going to be snow uh this is now white cool i can't i can't add my own i can't remove my own good if i was to add my own another one it comes up here as well cool all right so getting somewhere that's good moving up in the world so when we say biome class current biome equals this, we're going to say because biomes, and now we have to pass in a uh, thing, a integer here. The integer should be the same index as whichever one there. So we have to say biome colors, colors dot in get, uh, can we get index dot index. Can you system dot array dot index of? <sighs> you can system dot array dot index of. Why is okay? I'm not gonna ask. System dot array array. So I'll say biome colors. Does that count? Object value. We're gonna say biome col. Col bro. Col. There we go. Okay, I think it worked. That's gonna what was this return? That's returns an int, right? Uh, plus five. Yes, int. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So we'll say biomes. We'll say biome class. Yes, current biome equals biomes, and then we pass this in as the index. Tile sprites equals current biome dot tile atlas. That biome tiles is going to be you know i'm going to call that tile atlas here as well because let's rename this tile atlas. um okay let's just let's test so i uh, probably should all right tile atlas let's make this Desert. Now, if I run it, what do you want? What are you saying? Index was out of bounds. Your face was out of bounds. Well, what is the debug dot log? Uh, D 
Debug log that. I want to see what value you're returning. If it says minus one, that means it doesn't work and we should cry. Um, on validate, are you gonna do I have to upload this one? No. It's not debugging, logging anything. Oh, right, because we're not generating. <laughs> minus one. D plus one. Now what happens? Okay. That's going good. All right, guys, sorry for the awkward cut. I just needed a moment to get my brain back together. Um, and you know what? It worked because I just figured this out. This should not be here. This should be here. Yes, that should be there. Otherwise, we're literally creating one for every um, tile. That's wrong. That is so wrong. That is so dumb. Uh, let's not do that. We just have to say, okay, no, that's actually, yeah, that's perfect, like that. Okay, um, then we have to say color biome. Okay, so color biome, color equals this. Well, we're going to put this up here as well after, but let's just get it working first. Because plus one, all right, we're doing plus one. That's fine. But was it in outputting minus one because it doesn't exist, or was it outputting it because does exist or like what's going on we'll make this snow and this will be called desert and we'll make this red and this can be desert tile like this cool 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 now it does that that's fine this should be full red as well um and we'll make this 50 percent Cool. What's our thingy look like? That looks pretty cool. Uh, let's just double check, make sure these are perfect. So 25500, and this is going to be 255. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Let's double check that here. 25500, yep. And this should be 00. Yes. Okay, and that's found there. Let's generate it. Um, now, if half is desert and half is thingy, then it worked. It didn't work. Minus one again, and that's with the plus one. So that's how you know that it didn't work. So, um, what if I do this zero as well? Then what happens? Minus one. Okay, we have to write an algorithm or a function that returns which biome we're in. It returns a biome class. So let's do that. Let's say public biome class and then this is going to be get current biome. It's going to take in a position. Oop. So it's going to take in an int x and a int y and then it's going to return a biome class uh, we should define this up here. So we'll say private biome class current biome. Let's get rid of what we wrote down here because it doesn't work anyway. This can be tile atlas dot stone for now. Cool. Uh, this is going to say return current biome. So what we just have to do is say change current biome value. Okay. Ooh. Let's get the float. So the float for this is going to be the same as the uh, value, which is this, if that makes sense. So for example, let's say, right, so that's desert, that's snow, right? Uh, it's at location 50%, so the float would be 0.5. If it was here, then it would be 0 0.6, you know, 0 0.3, stuff like that. So we just have to, not actually 0 0.5, 50. There we go. 
Uh, so how would we even use that though? Biome, we'll say temp. So here, biome texture, here we go. Biome gradient dot evaluate V. So V equals that, yes, yes. So this is how videos turn out when I have no idea what I'm doing. And then once we solve this problem, I'm gonna cry tears of joy. Until then, I'm crying tears of sadness. <laughs> okay, let's generate a world just to make sure this doesn't contain a biome cover. What? What biome? That's up here? Ah, uh, yes. Let's get rid of that on the validate function for now. I'm not bothered to think about that. Cool, was this generating? Cool, that's fine. All right, so we are still generating stuff. Okay, we haven't broken everything just yet. Good. That makes me slightly happier. Um, but here, so this is, uh, I guess, our all important function. And um, it's empty. It's like V equals this. Okay. Then V is a floating point number, which we can then look through each of our biomes. So we're going to say, we're going to search through biomes. Search through our biomes with a for int i equals zero i less than biomes dot length, uh, dot count, oh no, dot length, yes. And then i plus plus. And then we're going to say if biomes i dot uh, biome temp equals v but we're not setting biome temp are we let's try with this if this doesn't work we'll use colors again um lots of back and forth but it's really just determining what works and what doesn't work um we're gonna first break obviously after we do whatever we do um and we're gonna return biomes i um we don't need to break there do we cool and then return null oh we'll just yeah we'll return calm biome um return biomes i return current biome yes yes let's see what goes down um i'm slowly losing faith in myself ah Look at that, fantastic, it didn't work. Why not? Snow tile like this, biome temp is zero. Let's use colors. <laughs> My God, okay. Color, biome, coal because that. Cool, uh, it's gonna say, we don't need V then in that case. Uh, it's gonna say if biomes I dot biome color equals biomap dot get pixel at x and y now let's give this a go you know what of course this isn't gonna work we're not using it anywhere my brain when it doesn't work okay this is gonna say get uh get current biome x y dot tile at this stone of this yeah in fact let's just do grass let's just replace it just to see that it works um you guys don't have to do that this is just me testing to make sure that what i wrote does stuff which Evidently doesn't. Current by x and y dot tile like this. Task price equals that. What current biome? Get current by x y. X y exists. Tile like this exists. Dot stone exists. Does it not? Have I not set that? 
Or the snow? I did. Stone. Sand. Dead stone. Okay. Oof. Okay. Tiles was equals that. Still no. This is ridiculous, guys. Uh, biomes dot length i plus plus if biomes i dot biome color equals biome. ah wait a sec wait a sec wait a sec snow doesn't have a color i've been crying for no reason there we go still not a thing Biome colors. We don't need biome colors anymore as well. Is the other thing. So let's just get rid of that. Uh, biome colors. That's fine. Get rid of that. This, why is it not set to an instance of an object? What am I missing? Is the question. Get current biome. I the I that's the biomes that length. There's only one biome anyway. Its value is that fine. That's cool. What's the issue? What's the value of this? It's literally just white. And the snow is also white. Uh, I'm going to change to use the desert tiles as well, just so we see something different. But it's not working. All right, there's only one way to do this. That's debug dot log. Um, what the hell? This returns the output. Um, hmm. let's play this and see what we get. Uh, if the color is different than white, then that's a problem. One 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 one. Yes. Okay. Cool. Now let's return. Let's debug dot log what this is. If are these different? You know what it could be. It could be the alpha. Yeah, it's the alpha. Okay. So let's just fix that up there. Two five five for the alpha as well. And now, okay. Ah, good. <laughs> let's change this to snow. Uh, let's do, let's add desert as well. So let's go desert. We'll change this to orange. Copy that hex code. That's super important. You know what else is super important? You should set the correct tile atlas. Saves you a lot of time. Make sure the alpha is white as well. Um, and now we want to say, for example, this should be this hex code. Cool, make this position 0.5, uh, no, 50. Now let's hit play again. And assuming what we did was correct, which it wasn't, the biome call is wrong somehow. Uh, let's also debug.log what the other one is then. Uh, so we should realistically get two of the same thing. If we don't, then that's the issue right there anyway. So we'll hit that, hit that, and we get... So it's one... Uh, okay, so there's slight discrepancies uh, with the floating point on this. So that's what it is. Um, two five five ninety zero, and this one is two five five 
90, 0. So even though I copied the hex code, it's different. Which is crazy to think about. Uh, we got no uh, thingies. Deserts, apparently. Still no deserts, which is... I'm pretty sure that's wrong. Yeah. We can stop debugging. Uh, let me... Let me increase this, maybe. If it's still not generating, then... We have another issue. Okay, we have another issue. Because our biomap is literally all orange. Editing for this video is going to be so much fun, guys. Uh, biome textures. Where am I returning it? In current biome. Biome dialogue, biome colors. Uh, I'm wondering, what if I put sand first, uh, well, desert first, and then I put snow second? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. They were both using the snow tile atlas. That literally could be the issue right there. Hold up. Oh, my God. Thank God. There we go. <laughs> okay, so we're getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. So a couple of things to note. Um, when we create a new biome, this we need to change. We need to do the tile atlas 100%. We need to make sure the alpha is 255 all the time. And we need to change the color. And we need to have to make sure this color and this color are the exact same. Uh, even when we copy the hex codes, apparently there is some discrepancies between that translation, which makes sense. Computers can't do everything correctly, as we've seen. Um, and apart from that, that should be okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get rid of desert. And instead, I'm going to create a new one, call this grassland. Cool. This can use the grassland that, uh, thingy. And this is going to be 0, 2, 5, so 5, 0 for this one. And then here, I'm going to have snow up to 25%. At 50%, I'm going to have grassland, which is 2, 5, 5, 0 there. Cool. And then here, I'm going to have forest, which is going to, let's say, 4, 63, and 4. Let's do. And this is going to be at 75%. And then at the 100%, I'm going to have... Desert, which is 255100. Okay. So let's create grass uh, forest, which is, what was that color again? 4634. Let's copy paste that. So 463 and 4. Right. And this one was 255100, I think. 255100, yep. Uh, let's close that and we'll create a new one. Call this desert 255100. Cool. Now we just make sure we change these to desert, that's fine. And change this one to forest, that's fine. Now if I hit play, what happens? Okay, we get, because, uh, yeah, most of them use um, thingy anyway. Uh, what's it called? Uh, I forgot. Oh, what's going on here? Okay, yeah, most of them use the um, normal snow textures, uh, stone textures. So that's fine. Um, we're going to see a lot more change once we fix this up. So let's do that real quick. Uh, when we say the dirt and the tile sprites, we have to do the same thing. So, get current biome. We'll say current biome equals get current biome. 
So we only have to do that once. And then we're going to say current biome dot that. And then same here, current biome dot tile atlas. And the same here, current biome dot tile atlas. Now we hit play and we should get a little bit more stuff going on. Okay, yes, yes, yes. So as you can see, now we're getting sand, we're getting snow generate. Um, that's obviously wrong with the uh, these generating on top of the snow, but that's because we haven't done all of that just yet. Um, we have to say, uh, when we're generating the trees as well, we have to pass in the correct ones. And tall grass, this should be uh, current biome dot tile at list or tall grass. Which means we're going to get a null exception, yes, because sometimes it doesn't exist. So we have to say if current biome dot tile at list dot tall grass not equal to null, then place it. Otherwise, if it's null, then you can't place it. Now we run that again, and yes, so sand, we don't have anything set for yet. Snow, we don't have anything set for yet as well. So for example, now if I go to the tile atlas for uh, desert, and I go to tall grass, um, and I choose, uh, I need to make another tile class for that. So let's say, Tall grass, we'll duplicate this and we'll call this dead grass. Cool, I'll call this dead grass here. I don't have many variants we have, but for example, if I can find one even, then that's still a dub. Uh, where is it? Here we go, grass brown and then grass tan. And we can minus that, minus that, minus that. And minus that. Cool. Now, if I run that again, and on our desert, we should get some brown grass generating. We didn't get many deserts. We're not getting anything generating. Index was out of bounds. It's good, right? Y plus one. No, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. What's this say? Not equal to, why is that coming up like that? Don't know. It's like slightly different color. Or is that just my eyes? Kind of by the tile like this, the tall grass. What is that? Dead grass, yes. Um, deserts. Oh, right, I don't have tall grass set here. Change that to dead grass. But we're still looking. In, okay, we're getting it there. On grassland and stuff, we don't have it. That's why. Okay. So tall grass is going to be tall grass. And on forest, it's also going to be tall grass. And then snow doesn't generate anything. Because it's snowing. Yes. Yes. Okay, there we go. So that is fine there. So that's our sprites. Now, obviously, these biomes are too small. If I go here, I'm going to decrease this frequency to maybe 0.1. And now you can see that we get this. So now if I generate that, we should be getting a little bit bigger biomes um, or no biomes. What's going on? Okay, there we go. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. So, yeah, that's how big our biomes should be, essentially. Uh, eventually, as our world gets bigger anyway, so let's say, for example, I make the world size 200. We should start to see a bit more biomes generating on the surface and all that. Yes. There you go. So, that's exactly what we want. Now, the next step is going to be determining the K frequency and the that all sort of stuff. And then the last step is going to be to change it so the proper trees and stuff spawn in the biomes. So for example, our snow biome should have less trees, desert biome should have even less trees, and they should also um, generate cacti instead, of course. So I'm going to pause the recording there, and then I'll be back in a bit. All right, I am back. So 
Now we have the spice generating, which is the easy part. We also have our um, get current biome function. So you can use this um, however you guys want. It's just going to return all this data here, which is quite convenient for us. Um, there's a lot that we can use. So, for example, when we're calculating the height, um, we use the train frequency times train frequency times height multiplier. This should actually be, um, uh, this, this should be, yes, so, hmm, current biome should be calculated up here, however, you'll find that if I get rid of Y and put zero instead, um, we'll be able to use it here, so we won't have to do this twice, because the less we do this, the better. Um, this is quite a taxing thing, um, if we do it for every single tile, every single time, you know, it's a bit pointless. Because what will happen is it's going to do it here once, and then we're going to do it here again. Waste of resources, really. Um, so, let's see what this does. Yes, so this is what happens. Technically, it works. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't get me wrong, but... Uh, yeah, that's just not very smooth, of course. So, we have to do that down here, inside. Uh, where did I have it before? I don't know. It was here? Yes, okay. If y is less than height minus delay height. No, this should be up here. This should do it regardless. Okay, here's what we'll do. Current biome equals get current biome x, y. Um, x, zero. And then we'll just say current biome dot terrain frequency. Uh, current biome dot terrain frequency. And current biome dot uh, current biome dot height multiplier. Yes. Cool. So now if I go back here, I go to terrain, let's say snow, uh, where is my terrain frequency? Okay, so what's our normal terrain frequency? It is, at the moment, it is 0.04. So let's make this 0.09 for snow, for example. Um, for grassland, we'll do 0.04. For forest, we'll have 0.04. Five maybe, and then for desert we'll have 0 0.02. Now if I generate again, it's is that completely flat? Yeah, it is. Uh, oh, what's our height multiplier actually? Our normal height multiplier is twenty five. Yes, thought so. Twenty five. We'll say twenty five. Um, here we'll say 25, and then here we'll say 25 as well. Cool, and, okay, so that's fine there. We just need to have another biome so we have something to compare it to. Um, let's increase the biome frequency maybe to 0.05, just because we're not getting any other biomes. That nah. annoying. Um. All right, so our terrain's looking quite choppy. Okay. Ah, uh, because our forest is different, isn't it? 0.04 for our forest. Forest and grassland should be the same. Anyway. Um, hmm. I just want a bigger biome, that's all. I need like a big chunk of sand or something to actually make a difference. Okay. 
the sands there, um, it's height multiplies 25, frequency is 0 0.02. Not sure if that's actually making a difference. Um, and there's a couple of issues going on. I'm sure you guys have noticed them as well. For example, okay, so yes, our desert bar now is a bit smoother, it looks like. So that's fantastic. I might make the world a little bit bigger, so maybe 300. But, okay, yes, so that's fine. But here, for example, it's not very nice because we don't want just a massive block there, of course. Let's try again and see what happens. This is not correct because there is no way that in this massive world we're not getting any other biome. Are you mad? Get like the tiniest bit of snow and that's it. Um, I think it's because, like I said, these are um, outliers. So if I increase this and increase this. Oh, why is it so laggy? Uh, because our textures are quite uh, quite bigger. Okay, that's fine now. Uh, I'm going to reduce this to 200 again because this is lagging quite a lot for me. Um, so we'll do that. So we should get a little bit more snow and um, desert now. There we go. And the other benefit of having this right, you can't ever have snow right next to desert because it has to go through their phases. Um, so you won't have uh, you won't have grass right next to desert either. These are most likely uh, forest biomes. We just can't see it yet because their sprites are the same. But um, the other thing I'm going to do is tall grass chance. This should be current biome dot tall grass chance. Um, tree chance should also be the same. This should be current biome dot tree chance. And now, so we've got tree chance, tree min height, and tree max height. Where do I specify that? Um, here, tree height, int tree height. I'm going to say that here. I'm going to say int tree height as a parameter. And then I'm going to say tree height equals that. Uh, no, in fact, I'm going to copy paste this. So copy that line, delete it from here. Uh, tree height does not exist in the current context. Into tree height. Why is interesting? Uh, that's fine. Let's go up here. What are you asking for? Hold up a minute. Ah, yes. Okay. Sorry. I thought that was here. This is where tree height goes. Okay. Int tree height here. There we go. And now we cut that. It's because this is closed. So I didn't realize. Uh, that's fine. Get rid of that line. We'll open this just to make our life a little bit less confusing. Here we're going to say paste that. Cool. So it's going to random dot range as a um, parameter. Pass that in and then x and then y plus 1. Except this should be current biome dot min tree height and then current biome dot max tree height. So for example, now if I go to the forest, I want the minimum tree height. So what's our normal tree height at the moment? Uh, where is it? Min is four, max is six. I want min to be seven, max to be eleven. 
for the forest. I also want what's our tree chance? Fifteen. Twenty. Oh no. Ten. Eight. We'll do eight. That way we get more trees in the forest. Snow, I want less trees. Um so we'll say twenty-five. And then we'll do it seven to ten. Cool. And now let's generate. So now you can see where our forests are because the trees are taller. Ah, okay. You know what the issue is? Since we're calculating it twice, it's a bit out of sync. 